Baku says it has captured six of its Armenian-occupied villages in heavy clashes along the front line of the occupied Karabakh region. Azerbaijan has captured six of its Armenian-controlled villages in heavy fighting along the front line of the Armenia-occupied Karabakh region. Fighting between both Caucasus neighbors broke out on Sunday along the disputed region, after Armenia attacked Azerbaijani civil and military positions, while Azerbaijan liberated six villages during its counter-offensive. We have liberated six villages, five in Fizili district and one in Jebrail district, a defense ministry spokesperson told AFP news agency. Moreover, the enemy's positions in the direction of Agdar and Mirovda were destroyed, and strategic heights were taken under the control, the ministry added. Armenia targets civilians in his address to the nation, Azerbaijan President Ilham Aliyev said Armenian armed forces fired on civilian settlements and military positions from several directions, using various types of weaponry, including heavy artillery. As a result of the enemy fire, there are casualties among the civilian population and our servicemen. Some people have been wounded. May Allah rest our martyrs in peace, he said, without mentioning any specific numbers on casualties. Aliyev vowed to avenge the blood of martyrs, saying the Azerbaijani army continues retaliation against the Armenian military positions, and that many units of its military equipment have been destroyed. This is another manifestation of Armenian fascism, he said. The Azerbaijani leader said Armenia continues its illegal settlements in Azerbaijani territories, and that Azerbaijan defends its lands, Upper Karabakh belongs to Azerbaijan. TRT World's Andrew Hopkins reporting from Ankara, said the fighting is still continuing, and there are causalities both in terms of civilians and also members of the military. What Azerbaijan government says is that from 6 in the morning Azerbaijani forces came under shelling from Armenia. Azerbaijan responded and during those clashes, 12 aircraft missile defense systems were destroyed, Hopkins said. Armenia declares martial law. Meanwhile Armenia said its troops downed two Azerbaijani helicopters and three drones in the clashes. The downed helicopter's crew survived, it said. Defense Ministry spokesperson Shushan Stepanyan also said Armenian forces hit three Azerbaijani tanks. There was no immediate word on casualties. Armenia also declared martial law and total military mobilization following clashes. Get ready to defend our sacred homeland, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said on Facebook. Turkey vows to support Baku. Meanwhile Turkey vowed complete support for Baku, and called on Armenia to give up its aggression. We strongly condemn the Armenian attack in Azerbaijan front line, which caused civilian casualties, and was a clear violation of international law, Turkish Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Azerbaijan's defense ministry denied the claim that its helicopters and tanks had been hit. Armenia has violated the ceasefire by attacking civilian settlements. The international community must immediately say stop to this dangerous provocation, Turkish presidential spokesperson Ibrahim Kalin said. We will support our Azerbaijani brothers with all our means in their fight to protect their territorial integrity, Turkish defense minister Hulusi Akar said. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan called on Armenia's people to take hold of their future against leadership that is dragging them to catastrophe, and those using it like puppets. We also call on the entire world to stand with Azerbaijan in their battle against invasion and cruelty, Erdogan said on Twitter, adding that Turkey will increasingly continue its solidarity with Baku. Decades of tensions Tensions between the two nations escalated in July this year, when the Armenian troops violated a ceasefire agreed in 1994, and attacked Azerbaijani positions with artillery fire. Mostly mountainous occupied Karabakh a region some 4,400 sq kilometers, lies 50 kilometers from the Armenian border. International efforts to settle the conflict have stalled, and fighting sporadically breaks out. France, Russia and the US have mediated peace efforts as the Minsk group, but the last big push for a peace deal collapsed in 2010. The pro-Armenian militia occupied the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan in 1993. Three UN Security Council resolutions, 853, 874 and 884, and UN General Assembly resolutions 1913 and 57 298, refer to Karabakh as part of Azerbaijan. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe refers to the region, in Resolution 1416, as being